it's been like forever since I've been on here and like said hello to everybody. So I am really excited to be back. So I know it's been a while since I have posted on here, but I have had a really good summer. I'm feeling a lot tanner than I was and really refreshed and recharged and I am super pumped about everything that I have planned for the rest of this year. So when I started this channel, I knew that it was gonna be a huge commitment and one that I was gonna have to really work to keep up with. And I was also anticipating this summer to be a little bit slower just because all of my seniors are graduated. I only had a few weddings for the summer and it's like blazing hot outside. So normally people don't want to get their pictures done. But fortunately and unfortunately for my content creation, it has been a really busy summer and one that I have actually been able to enjoy, which I have loved so much. Um, but that's kind of caused me to step away from the YouTube world for just a little bit, but I am back and ready for action. So if you didn't know, I actually took my business full time in January and quit my career in the marketing agency world. It's been so awesome to pour myself completely into my business and figure out how to grow it and be sustainable on my own. And then also kind of work out this like work life balance um, where I'm growing something, but then also making sure to put boundaries around the time that I need to pour myself, which is something that I desperately needed after running and being a part of multiple marketing agencies and the hustle culture. Because this time last year, and I'll say probably like the last three to four years, I would have been hustling at this point in time, which actually just looks like me working like 12 plus hour days, never knowing when to shut off, never getting up from my computer, and that is definitely not healthy. That was definitely something that was really unhealthy for me and affected all of my close relationships and was something that I wanted to make sure I did not bring with me when I jumped full time into the world of business ownership and being self-employed. And everyone dreams of being able to create their own schedule so that that way they can be as busy as they want or don't want to be, which of course you can't be lazy because you gotta make money, you gotta live, you gotta have a purpose. But I also think that some of that is working smarter and not harder. So I say all of that just to give a little bit of explanation of where I've been for the past month and a half because I have been working. It's been a pretty busy summer, one that I wasn't really anticipating but I'm really excited about. And I've also been taking some time for myself. I kicked off my 2020 senior spokesmodel team, which I'm so excited to spend this year with them. And you can see our first summer photo shoot that we did on a yacht in Carolina Beach. I was very excited about it. Um, I vlogged the whole thing, so I'll link it so you can watch that. There was a lot of planning that went into a 12 hour day working with all 15 of my girls and also the boutiques and the makeup and trying to make all of that stuff happen. So I'm really excited to take you along with me, along with them and the team and seeing all of the things that we're gonna be doing for the rest of this year because it's gonna be really fun. Also, we've been making a lot of TikToks and so maybe some of those will get on here too, who knows? <laughs> I've also photographed three weddings, which I was really excited about all of those. All of them were in August. Thankfully, we still had really good August summer heat weather that didn't like, I mean, I was sweating, but it was still really, really fun. I personally love weddings because I work with all of my couples for their engagement session before their wedding. So on the, their big day, it actually feels more like a reunion and I get to say hello to everybody and meet their family and their friends and all the people that they talked about at their engagement session. So that was also really, really fun. And then of course, I've had a few senior sessions, some couple sessions of my past seniors, which was really fun too. And I even have been doing a few families this summer. So I know that I made a whole video about why I only photograph seniors and weddings, which you can watch here, but I have kind of stumbled into this opportunity this summer to photograph a few families that have been vacationing in the area. 
And because my summer is a little less busy when it comes to the people that I am really trying hard to make my business all about, I've been able to have time to let some families come in and be able to photograph some kids and some babies, which has been really fun and just something like a little different outside of the normal space that I get to work in, which I do think that it's important as a photographer and as a creative person to challenge yourself and try new things. Which for anybody that is getting into photography, the family market is one that I think is maybe a little bit underserved. So if you have a heart for kids and a heart for documenting families as they grow, I highly encourage you jumping into that market because they are so much fun to work with and there's just a lot of motion and people playing and running and stuff. So I've posted a couple of my family sessions on the blog if you wanna check those out, but you'll probably only be seeing those during the summer from now on, but it's been fun. Then outside of work, because I've been talking about how I wanna make sure that within this business and the life that I'm building that I don't want it to be centered completely around work, I've been doing a lot of stuff, which has been I know I keep saying fun, but it's been fun. This, that's like the word of the summer. <laughs> so my goal has been to do more than sit behind my computer and mark off tasks on my to-do list. So I have been going out to lunch with a lot of friends. I've spent a lot of time on the beach. I recently got back involved with my sorority, Alpha Chi Omega, and I'm helping the chapter at UNCW, which has been really fun. I'm also going to be helping be a part of the interview team for the new chapter at Augusta University. So I will be taking you guys along for that adventure too, just so that you can see something outside of the world of just photography. And one of my favorite parts of the summer, which I already mentioned, is that I have a tan, which the lights in here maybe don't show it as good, but you know, I feel really good about it in the winter time. You guys will see if you compare the old videos to now, I, and a little darker and I feel good about it because I have not had a tan in so long because I've been stuck in an office every single summer and I'm changing that. <laughs> so with all of the fun and things that I've been doing this summer, I obviously still felt really guilty about not pouring myself as much into growing my business and creating online content for you guys. But when I was sharing this guilt with my dad, he said that I was simply recharging and I loved that because I feel really good. I feel refreshed and recharged and I am back. And another one of the things that I've really been working on this summer is just working on myself, which I think is really important, especially for all of the 20 somethings in the world that have recently graduated college and you're starting your professional career and you're kind of trying to figure out how to answer the question, what do you do for fun, which is actually a lot harder to answer than you think it would be. This journey of self-reflection and figuring myself out and kind of pouring into other relationships and things like that has been so good for me. And I even started seeing a therapist, which I have loved every second of. Highly, highly recommend to everyone. I am happy to share my story and probably will share a little bit of my like journey with through that process if you guys are interested in it because I definitely think that it is so important. Anyways, I'm feeling really good about everything. Wanted to give you guys just a little bit of update of where I've been, what I'm doing, and what to look forward to. I spent a whole day this past week, multiple days this past week, creating and mapping out all of the content for the rest of this year. Now I need to write it, film it, edit it, post it. <laughs> So it's gonna be a lot of work, but all of the ideas are there and the energy's there. So I am really excited to have you guys continue with me throughout the craziness of photography life. And then also just, you know, being me. The plan for the rest of this year is to have a video weekly, which was the plan from the beginning. Um, so you guys can keep up with me on YouTube. And then also there will be lots of blog posts coming out just to make sure that you guys are keeping up with all of the sessions that I'm doing. And then also anything that you guys need to know to make your session even better. I'm really excited to share the things that I know will be super helpful to all of my Dakota Hersey seniors. And then also all of my couples, brides and grooms um, that are going to be planning their weddings and trying to make their day the best one ever. 
and then hopefully even some content that will be helpful for photographers who are looking to also grow their business and just kind of pouring into this community as a whole. If you have any questions or ideas or things that you want to see from me, I would love to hear them. I know I said that I have this like beautiful secret content calendar, but I'm all about being flexible and adding things in that you guys want to hear. So if there is something specific, please let me know because I would love that. And then also just thank you for being with me on this wild ride and being patient and being awesome and always watching my videos and looking at, you know, my Instagram posts and things like that. So you guys are awesome. I love you. And I am really excited for the rest of 2019. Okay. Bye guys.